Thursday Thoughts with Coach Bobby. Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Thursday. I want to talk to you guys today about going forward and looking back, looking forward and looking back. And the topic of my talk today is all about the internal fortitude <clears throat> it takes to really become um, fit, to really become the embodiment of what being healthy is all about. And I had a debate with several of my students this week, uh, three, four, five, six of them probably. Uh, it crossed over between my 6 a.m. class and my 7 a.m. class, and I was just talking on my soapbox, uh, and then I carried it on uh, until last night's boot camp, and even with my uh, my young athletes, I was talking to them about it. And my message, uh, after the yelling has subsided, my message was, was pretty simple. And it was that in order to be really fit, it's, it's, it's a very simple equation. It really is. You, you come to work, you give everything you have in that workout session, and then you go home. It's very simple. You come here, give all you got, and then go home. And the the debate became over over whether or not uh, people were giving everything they had. And people told me, "Oh yeah, I'm I'm doing the best I can." I I argued back that they weren't. And and the argument just went around in circles and circles and circles. And and my and my argument has always been and will always be. I've I've trained and worked with thousands of athletes and teammates. And, and so I see what is, it looks like to give everything you have. I've been there. I know how it feels when you have emptied the bucket, so to speak, and, and given every ounce of effort that you have in you. Now, the, the question is whether or not you are willing to get to the brink of throwing up or exhaustion in order to accomplish the prize that's behind that. And I have a saying that right behind all that pain and right behind the, the, uh, the fear um, and, and the pain is your goal. So that beautiful body you want, that um, those arms and that chest and those nice legs are right behind the, the guards. They are the guards of fear, the guards of complacency and laziness. Those, are, those guards are guarding the gates to what you want. And so it's all about, are you willing to fight through that to get what you want? And if you're not, then that's okay. I get it. But people come to me, I think, because they bypass gyms that are, are cheaper than me. They, they, uh, they, they let go of other ways to get in shape, whether it be DVDs or whether it be gyms, uh, personal trainers, to come to me because I'm under the impression they want to get better. If you're listening to this, I'm under the impression you want to get better. So it takes that fortitude, that mental fortitude to say, you know what, I want to be great. And once you decide that, you have to be willing to give everything you have to the cause, so to speak. And so the debate was all about that. And so what I was trying to get them to understand is that the people who are great in sport, in athletics, in fitness, have something inside them that goes beyond just the not material, but the physical uh, aesthetics of looking good or of being strong. All right. So, yes, we all want to be strong and fit and look good. But the ones who really are great at it have more to work for. And and one thing that I use as my driving motivation, and I try to get people to understand this, is to and going back to my initial um uh, thought for today is looking forward and looking back. All right. So looking back, I always tell everyone that you're an athlete. We all come from, from athletes. And I know we have this idea of what an athlete is. That's those guys who jump high, uh, can run fast and throw a ball and catch a ball and so forth. But to me, an, an athlete is, is someone who understands the game they're playing and in our case, it's the game of life for most of us. We're not playing a sport, but we're trying to, to be as successful in this game of life as possible. They understand uh, the game. Uh, they, under they understand uh, and are willing to uh, acquire and use the skills they need to use 
to master the game and then they won't quit, right? They'll do whatever it takes in order to succeed. So our ancestors from every definition that I can think of were athletes. We didn't come from a, a people, um, you know, if you're, going, if you're going way, way back, the homo sapien, the human species evolved from people who had to survive on little food, who had to survive by walking and carrying and running and chasing and climbing, uh, things that uh, require physical ability, that require uh, athleticism, endurance. Uh, those are the ones who survived and evolved into who we are today. So our ancestors were athletes. So we don't come from an ancestry that's not athletic, okay? And now if you go, if you go forward, you know, from, from, from 200,000 years ago, if you fast forward even to uh, the last 100 years when we've become very sedentary, um, we, our ancestors, you know, whether it be our, our grandparents or their parents, came to this country with strength, with internal fortitude, with, with, with mental focus and, and, and a determination that we should be ashamed uh, that we are the way we are today after all they've gone through, right? If you're African-American, your ancestors were slaves, right? So they came here not of their own will, had to, had to endure uh, terrible things, obviously, um, to, and, and survived, you know, land-stricken, food-stricken, language-stricken, and they had to come here with nothing, survive without family, without food oftentimes, and, and make it. And so, and so the ones who survived that, gave you know gave way to offspring who eventually became us african americans if you're native american similar background right similar background you know the the, the dangers they had to face the the killings you know all the all of the the evil that they had to endure they survived that so if you're here and you're of native american descent you come from strength right but it's not just you know african americans and native americans it's everyone here in the us everyone you know in the world really but let's focus on the us you know, if, if you're in the U.S. and you're Polish American or you're um, a Middle Eastern or you're South American or Mexican or, or, or whatever you are, your ancestors came here a generation or two or three ago with little to nothing. And they had to survive on, on pennies. They had to survive oftentimes with many, many people under one roof, surviving with little means. Uh, walking to and from uh, work, uh, having to take jobs, work 20 hours a day. So they had to to do things that, in my definition, of knowing the game, of, of acquiring the skills necessary to succeed in the game, and then do whatever it takes. From, from my definition of an athlete, you come from athletes. And so for us to dishonor that by not being able to finish a burpee or finish a workout or not give everything we have, to me, that is a dishonor to everyone who's come before us. And so one of my strengths, one thing that I draw upon, draw upon is my mother who passed away, bless her heart. Uh, I miss her every day of my life. But she had to endure so much when she was young. You know, her and my father had to, had to go through so much, you know, living in a time um, when when she was very fair complected and and had to face you know racial um, injustices, um, my father had to survive on a, on a minimal paycheck in the military. Uh, but my mother was a strong woman, and for me to sit here and not honor her by going easy on anything I do, whether it be fitness or whether it be homework when I was in school is a dishonor to her. So I want you to think about all the people who have laid the foundation for you in life. And I know it's, I know it seems like it's not related, but the core of who you are, the core of who you are when you leave the house is how you feel about yourself inside. And, and when you allow yourself to feel lazy, to be lazy, you are dishonoring those who laid the framework for you to be who you are today. So I want you to look backwards whenever you think about who you are today, how far you've come, uh, financially, how far you've come, and what you have in this life, and, and what you're able to do, and think about what your grandparents went through, and their parents went through, and, and what was hard to them, and, and think about what they might say if they saw you, you know, uh, complaining about not being fit, but yet not having the mental toughness to get through a workout. 
So think about that. And then the forward part of it is also pretty simple. People are watching you. People are watching us, whether it be our friends, whether it be our coworkers, but most importantly, our family, our children, our spouses are watching us. And, and they've seen us make promises to ourselves. They've seen us commit to getting better, but then giving up. And so whenever we allow ourselves to not be our truest self, to not, to not dig down deep into what our DNA is, and that's a hardworking individual, individual, whenever we allow ourselves to be less than what we're supposed to be, we're given the right to our children to be less than what they're supposed to be. Right. So whenever we say, OK, I'm, I'm going to give up, we're giving them the right to give up and they see it. Right. So so when I'm working out and, and whether I'm by myself or in a group, you know, I want to be in shape, of course. But there's times where, where it's hard for me, too. But I never failed. I draw upon one of those two things, either either backwards or forwards. I say, you know what? What will my mom say if she looked at me right now and saw me giving up on a box jump when I know I got one more in me? Right. Or what or what what will my son say when I ask him to dig down deep uh, and give everything he has? If he wants to get a scholarship to Oregon. What would he say uh, if I if I quit and he saw me quit? Right. And I'm asking him to give full effort. OK, so it's all about it's all about perspective. I get it. I get it. We don't all want to be, you know, a, a, a size four and have ripped abs because there's some trade offs. I get that. Now, there, there's there's a food trade trade off. You know that will that will prohibit us from being uh, as aesthetically uh, pleasing as we want. Maybe we can't get a six pack because we we don't want to give up beer uh, and pizza. But it's about more than that. It's about who are you inside, right? Who are you gonna be when times get tough, right? Because there's carryover in all of our lives. There are, there are very few black and white lines in our lives. What you are uh, as a mother relates to what you are. In your exercise and fitness, what you are as a wife relates to what you are as 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 a worker, as an employee. So there's there's a lot of gray area, and they're all inter, intertwined. And so when we allow ourselves to to not be the best we can be with our workouts, right? Then we allow ourselves to not be the best we are. Period, right? The the the, the holistic uh, version of of who we are. So I want you to think about that today. That's your thought for today, is I want you to 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 understand that it's not just about you. It's not about you. If it were, it'd be easy to quit. And I would let you quit, but it ain't about you, right? There's people that laid the framework for you in the past that you owe an honor to, to give everything you have uh, in your life and as a, as a small part of that in your workouts. And then going forward, there are people all around you, people who look up to you, people who, who need you to pull them in this journey that if you quit, they won't even start. Right. And if, if you quit, you give um, the, the right for someone else to quit because you quit. So think about that. Um, continue to work. You know, I know I'm hard on you because I want you to be the best you can be. Right. I'm a work in progress. You're a work in progress. But all we can do every day is get up. Right. Get up and get better. Get up and get better. That's all we can do. Go to bed a better person than when we woke up. So we can do BTY better than yesterday is my mantra has been for for as long as I can remember will always be. Um, and as long as you do that in life, then you can be you can be satisfied with that. Right. You, you can go to bed at night and feel good about yourself if you know that you've done everything you can today to be better than you were yesterday. All right. So until next time, I know it's long winded today, uh, but I want you guys to, to keep those things in mind and find ways to motivate yourself to continue on this journey. Uh, toward betterment and improvement. All right, guys, until next time, this is Coach Bobby. Have a great day and a great weekend. Take care.